All right, morning folks. Today is the day we start the veg garden. first one made up as a bit of a tester. I'm using the landscaping screws, two in each. The only issue is we are screwing into the end grain because we're going in through here. And I've just kind of recessed a little countersink hole there to give it a flat base for the screw to hit. What I've done is leveled this one out on some bricks because I'm gonna build all the rest on here. It's, it's a lot harder if you've got a wonky uh, base to work on. So. This is kind of our foundation one and I can just use it as a template now for the rest. Well that's half of them built. I need 12 in total to form our hexagon. I've changed things up a little bit. Uh, the first two I did with those 150 landscaping screws. So what I've done is I've tacked it in place with some long uh, or 75 mil decking screws. So we've got the structure made and it's pulled it in nicely how it should be. What I'll do later is I'll go out and get some 100 mil uh, uh, versions of those landscaping screws. They've got the nice big flat wafer head on them so they do clamp it tight. But what I'll do is I'll put it in across so we're actually going in near enough perpendicular to the grain and that way we know that everything is you know tight and it's not going to get loose over time plus it's the due date for our baby today so we may have to take an interlude but hopefully we'll, we'll get this done in time I think we're there now with all the triangles. I found the center point and what I've done is formed a hexagon from them all and then now we need to space them out equally to give us our path. So what I'm going to do is run some string lines down the axes that we've kind of made there. Then I'm going to put the drone up and that should hopefully capture things and I can double check it from above but hopefully the string line should be the key. Okay, time to double check, triple check everything. Once I'm happy with that, then I'm gonna drive some stakes in on the inside of the bottom timbers. And then when we put our second level on, 
they'll slot on the outside and everything will be screwed together through those on the inside. I've driven in the stakes, uh, three or four per triangle is fine. What I want to do now is try and level them up. Now I was originally going to try and get everything completely level over all of them, but there's there's still such a drop that it's just going to be either a case of taking away all the weed fabric and digging right down, or even going an extra board high, and I don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just have a an even gradient all the way down to follow the ground level. And usually when I do raised beds in the past, this is how I've done it anyway. Especially if you've got a square or rectangular bed, then actually when the membrane is done, you can bring the membrane up. And one way to do it is where I've got these stakes. You can fix it to the stakes and then that gives you a cavity that you can backfill with some gravel. So you, um, you end up with no soil contact with the boards. I was right about one thing, which was that the baby arrived mid-project, but we're going to catch up today. I've got a couple of hours whilst Grandma holds the fort in there. As you can see, typically impatient. I ended up planting out some of the uh, lettuce plants I had in the polytunnel, but ignore this because we'll come back to the planting a bit later on. First job is to finish off lining these. Now remember, I've used that um, tanking type membrane, which leaves that nice cavity behind it to keep everything dry and drained um, but because I've cut it it means uh, stuff could potentially fall down the back 
So all I've done in these beds here is taken some of the weed fabric, cut some kind of strips and started stapling that on. And, and that's nice and tight against the wood. And you can basically then top up near enough to the top. Got some coffee grinds on here which is pretty much evident from having a newborn baby around. There's plenty of coffee grinds. So these ones in first. These ones? Yeah. Is that one a good one? That looks great, yeah. Just shuffle it. Let's move all this new compost that way. They can all go in pretty close because we're going to use these soon. Might have some on our pizza tonight, actually. From here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spade in, really hard, that's it. Pull it to the side like a lever, stop, that's it. Make a little space. You can plant trees this way, 